going on out there, you too? What's up, my Madden 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports, back with another video. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we are here for an update. A really important update. I think you guys are going to love to the sliders. You guys are going to love it, man. After I give you guys this thing, man, play some games and give me some feedback. Okay? Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. But I'm going to give you guys a new settings, man. Like I said, I'm always testing. I'm always figuring things out. I'm always trying to make this game better. We got a long Madden season to go. Okay, so I'm trying to keep improving, guys. I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm, I'm on the grind, guys, working. Okay, I'm in the, I'm in the dungeon working, baby. I'm in the office working. I'm in the film room working. I'm working for the community, guys. That wants some good sliders. Okay, okay, good, all pro sliders. Not all Madden. I done an extensive testing, doing watching replays, all Madden cheats you they will cheat you now if you want a, a really 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 com uh, a competitive game against the cpu and you don't mind them cheating but you just want it to be really hard then put it on all mad but guys here we go here we go here we go here we go man if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button guys you don't want to miss this thing going on in the madden system guys I, man we got some this is a long football season we got to go guys y'all don't want to miss it so hit that subscribe button for the tips the breakdowns the live streams everything guys hit that subscribe button you won't be disappointed but let's get let's get into the slider set is that why that's why we're here right i want to show y'all what's going on like i said i will continue to work for you guys when you guys subscribe to hollywood sports man I'm thinking about you. I'm trying to entertain you. I'm trying to give you guys a, a very valuable information on what's going on with the Madden game. Okay? And college college football the same. Anything on my channel, you're going to get some benefit from. So hit that subscribe button. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's go to settings. Because the first thing we need to change the first thing we need to change, the first thing we need to change is this baby right here. Physics-based tackling results. Now, once you guys get the sliders, guys, don't turn the video off. I'm going to explain to you why I'm making the changes. Because if you don't understand why and you get into the gameplay, you're going to make changes of your own. And you're going to say, that's not, that's not working like Hollywood said. Now, after you listen to what I say and you make changes, it's on you, all right? Like I said, but everybody has to make sliders based on what they're comfortable comfortable with. That's why they call them custom sliders. But sometimes you need somebody to give you a base to where to start from, and that's why I'm here, baby. That's why I'm here. So the first change we're going to do, we're going to change it to 20, all right? You got to do that in the main menu and settings. Do not go into franchise mode. Do it. At the main menu, as soon as you turn the game on, see? When I go back, that's where I'm at. I'm not in franchise mode yet, right? Okay. Now, let's get into franchise mode, baby. Let's get into franchise mode is the reason why we all here. We want a realistic simulation of what we see on Sunday football game, right? That's what we want, guys. And that's what I'm trying to achieve um, outside of the basic programming of Madden. We can't change that. But we can try to make this game play as the best we can. And that's what I'm working on, guys. I'm here for you. And there's a lot of people in the community here for you. Okay? <clears throat> now, let's go into franchise settings. <clears throat> I'm, get, I'm getting a little hoarse, man, using my using my, my voice, man. Let me drink a little caffeine. Let me get some caffeine in my system. Ah. <sighs> I've been getting on a little, <clears throat> I got a sinus issue sometimes and it, it messes up my throat. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get over that, man. Getting all this mucus out of my system. <laughs> okay, let's go to sliders. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're going to go all the way at the bottom before we start at the top, okay? Now, don't start copying them down yet, guys. You got the video. 
We're going to go all the way down to here because what I want to show you, the big change that I did right here, is into intentional grounding. Turn it off. It changes everything with the quarterback. Turn it off. I told you guys, I just I do random testing, out of the blue testing, stuff that don't make sense. I make changes and see what it does to the game. Turn into intentional grounding off. If you want your quarterback to ball out, I mean the CPU quarterback to ball and play good football, <clears throat> turn it off. Because really, how often do you see intentional grounding anyway? <clears throat> It affects the quarterback's play, guys. So turn it off. You're gonna get he's gonna see more plays downfield. He's gonna stretch the field. He's not gonna be dinking and dunking all the time. Okay? They still gonna dink and duck, but what I'm saying is if there's an opportunity downfield, they will find it. Okay? So turn in, intentional grounding off. Your quarterback will move better in the pocket also. And a lot of times when you get ready to get a sack, what did the quarter, quarterback do? He throw it out of bounds. He throw it out of bounds. It'll reduce all the throw out of bounds. That's not realistic. He throwing it out of bounds a lot. You probably see it in a lot of my videos. A lot of the same thing in the college football. Turn it off. Turn this into intentional grounding off. Also in college football. Turn it off. Okay, and your quarterback will be seeing stuff downfield, stretching the field, going for big plays, all of that. Okay? So turn that off. That's the first thing we want to do. All right. Now let's go back to the top. <clears throat> let's go back to the top, baby. All right. Now we're going to change the user pass coverage to 90. Okay. We had it on 100, but we're going back down to 90. Okay. Because when I change that, that intentional grounding thing, woo hoo hoo. So these pass coverages, pass reaction and pass coverage, put it to 90. That's your second change, right? <clears throat> well, your third change. <laughs> anyway, uh, then we're going to go down to the CPU. That's the only thing you're going to change on the user, okay? We're going to adjust the quarterback accuracy to 25. We're going to pick it back up to 25. I think we had it down to 13. We're going to go back up to 25. Because he's all, that's also going to help him be more aware about what's going on downfield. See, I'm finding out that quarterback accuracy is not just about him being accurate and throwing the ball. It also affects his abilities. Quarterback accuracy affects his ability. So if his accuracy is up, he's going to be more alert. It just I'm just finding that out, guys. These sliders, one thing about Madden sliders, guys, they're not what they say they are. They are, but they're not. They affect other things. It's kind of like when they do a patch, right? It affects other things. So it's the same thing with these sliders. When you change these sliders, it affects other things in the game. So somehow you just got to slowly figure those things out and run into a good set. And that's what I've been doing, guys, is working on different changes, okay? Now, quarterback action is 25. Okay, then we're going to take the pass block to 33. 33. 33. Okay, 33. It's a good balance that you're still going to get a pass rush. You're still going to get your sacks, but it gives this the C CPU quarterback, based on how they react, when I turn the intentional grounding off, right, they need a little bit of time to operate, guys. They need a little bit of time, but not too much time. You're still going to get a good pass rush and some sacks. But the CPU will be able to get downfield and give you a butter challenge, okay? Same thing with run blocking. Put it up to 33. 33. Okay? People say there's too much passing in the game. They won't run. Okay? If the run blocking is too low, they won't run the football. <laughs> the CPU says, well, if our run blocking is too low, I need to throw the ball. Because we ain't going to get nothing on the run play. I need to throw the ball. So you're going to get a more run pass balance. Not with every team. Now some teams have a tendency to pass more. Some tendencies have a team to, to run more. But when the opportunity is there, that's when you get the unbalanced, good, solid gameplay from each team. Guys, I've been working. I've been in the lab working, bro. Ball security, 47. Ball security, 47, baby. Okay, guys. CPU interceptions, 55, 55. 
Now, the reason why we're going to 55 is because one thing I didn't realize in my testing is one of the things they fixed in, in the title update was they're gonna, it's, it's going to stop the CPU um, from swatting the ball away unnecessarily, which will lead them to get interceptions, right? Well, n they're not swatting as much now, but they're dropping the football on interceptions. They're just dropping them. They're not swatting them, but they're dropping them. Okay, so I raise it up to 55. Okay, let's see where we at. And then in, uh, interceptions, yeah, 55. Okay, guys, those are all the changes right there. Those are all the changes that you need to make. And I'm telling you, it's going to make a difference in the gameplay. Like I said, play some games, give me some feedback, let me know what you think. I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video.